to Les Schwab Tire Center's Outdoor GPS, presented by Fisherman's Marine and Outdoor. Hello, everyone. I'm Owen Hayes. You're watching Les Schwab Tire Center's Outdoor GPS, presented to you by Fisherman's Marine and Outdoor. And today, we got a special one lined up for you. We're going to talk a little bit of tuna, a little bit of salmon fishing, and some sturgeon fish. <laughs> so sit back, relax, and hopefully we can give you some insight on what's going on around here real time and give you a couple of things that you should be looking forward to. Number one, if you've ever wanted to chase tuna and learn how to do it the right way, pay attention. If you participate in that fall Chinook fishery in Astoria and you would like to win a bunch of money, <laughs> Well, let's just put it that way. Uh, pay attention, because we're going to talk about that. Also, if you're going to be heading down to the Astoria area, the estuary area, to chase sturgeon, we're going to get a live report from there this morning as well. So a lot of people like to go down there a week or two before that August 1st opener for the Fall Chinook Fishery and participate in that catch and release sturgeon fishery, which is ridiculous. Some of the best fishing already uh, in the first week or so of July has been happening right now in Astoria. So a lot going on, but nothing more important than you at home. We'd love to hear from you. It's the viewer hotline, 503-548-6777. Questions, comments, reports like always, this is the time to jump in because after that, <laughs> we're going to get pretty darn busy. So if you'd like to get any questions answered, maybe just throw a report out there. Uh, we'll do the best we can to accommodate you. And if you have a live report, we'll put you to the front of the line in those first two segments. So make sure you call us up. Again, as always, we'd love to hear from you. If you've been sending photos in, pay attention. We're going to get there in just a little bit. Yes, in this upcoming segment, we'll have all the typical information that you might want before this upcoming week. But first, we're going to have Dell Stevens, the tuna dog himself here in studio. We're going to talk about a couple of upcoming tournaments that are going to be going on during that fall Chinook fishery. It's the Lipstick Salmon Slayer Derby tournament. 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 And then uh, it, we're going to talk about the Buoy 10 Challenge. Those both happen one day and then back to back, right? Uh, so two different ways that you can have a little bit of extra fun. Ladies, if you want to get out there, you don't have to be with anyone specific. You can just be by yourself, you and your, your hubby, your best friend, whatever it is, enter in uh, for that ladies-only tournament. And then for that Buoy 10 Challenge, heck, load the boat. Lots of ways that you can have fun, lots of ways that you can participate. And if you do well, get some big fish, most fish, both. All right, it, it, lots of different ways that you can enjoy yourself in that buoy 10 fishery and add that little bit uh, of extra motivation in there to be successful, meaning paying attention to the tides, knowing where you need to be, and keeping your uh, little syndicate of people uh, tight so you know where the fish are. Although, usually when you get a report down there, it's too late. So anyway, we'll cover that with Dell uh, here in just a little bit. Then we're going to have Charles Los. You know him as the ocean coach. Lots of different things that he helps teach people, right? One, when and when not. Again, I think is the most important thing to head out to the saltwater. Different bars, things that you need to pay attention to. Wind. I mean, there are so many different, one of the reasons why I don't go out there, <laughs> very honestly. Uh, but he teaches you how to overcome those same fears that keep me from going. Maybe I need to take that class. We'll talk about that. Uh, but we're going to check in with Charles and find out how he can help you catch tuna, right? There's a lot of people out here these days that are making a, tr a transition from chasing salmon and steelhead inland, which is what we are here in the Northwest. It's just that simple. That's, that's who we are. That's in our blood. That's our heritage. But a lot of people are switching gears and they're going after tuna for good reason. Uh, it's a fantastic fishery and what we have here off of Oregon and Washington is second to none when you're talking about chasing albacore. Some of the best anglers there are in the country are chasing these things off of our coast for a reason. Well, it's also a very intimidating fishery. If you haven't done it before, you know, I'll, I'll always say, go out with an expert. Jump in a guide boat, charter, whatever, go out and learn that way. Or you can learn one-on-one, -on -one, hands-on from Charles. It's a Zoom class, we're gonna inform you of that and also give you uh, an opportunity uh, to win a uh, prize pack of the starter kit that you would want to get going. I love pulling plugs and that's part of it, right? Pulling those plugs for tuna, I don't know what it is. Maybe that's the salmon fisherman in me, I don't know. Uh, but we're going to check in with Charles with that uh, in a little bit. Then, after that, we're going to have David Johnson from David Johnson's Guide Service. He's on the water this morning chasing sturgeon with his clients in the, in the estuary. And again, we'll see how David is doing and give you that insight uh, real time, like 
only GPS can do. Uh, okay, if you've been sending photos in, pay attention. We're going to show you a few of them right now, and we'll also show you how you can send those photos in. Facebook, great way to do it. Become a fan there if you'd like, uh, or utilize uh, that Fox 12 app. But some of these photos that everybody's been sending in are definitely good ones. And we're going to continue to see a lot of these Chinook photos, and they're going to start seeing tuna uh, in these photos going forward. But here's the first salmon from Alex. Uh, looks like, excuse me, lower Willamette. Uh, which, by the way, have already been getting reports this morning. It's certainly been, at least the last couple of days, an early morning thing or evening thing. But great, great job, Alex. Nice fish. And as we move forward, uh, largemouth bass. Lots of folks chasing bass right now. You can see that he's in a kayak and uh, is a very popular fishery and popular way to go after him. Just make sure you pay attention. Maybe put a flag uh, on your kayak. That'll be a recommendation I'd throw out there. Uh, got a double. I don't see the second one, but that doesn't mean it didn't happen. Uh, Trish Voss sent this in. Uh, nice Chinook as well. And there's been some dandies. All those little dinks that we were catching from March, April, and May, it seems like these fish have really gotten a little bit bigger uh, here in just the last month or so. At least luckily for me, I finally got a decent sized one. Uh, here's another one. This is a knuckle buster. <laughs> Brian sent this in. Knuckle buster. What was he fishing? One of those uh, uh, Canadian uh, reels or something. I don't understand the knuckle buster part, but there you go. I still don't understand that. That whole one-to-one -one thing. Oh, there it is. There's the knuckle buster in the background. I was right. Uh, at least it's on an edge rod. Uh, I don't get it, but I'm from Oregon. We don't get a lot of things. Uh, Paul, nice fish. Um, I haven't fished up in Canada uh, where they fish those reels, but hey, there's a reason why they use them. Uh, right? I, I guess. Uh, I guess I can say it that way. Uh, <laughs> LJ's first fishing trip was successful, obviously. Look at all those trout. Uh, and some great options, everyone. Again, with this heat that we've got in the valley right now, it's, it's certainly something that you want to get out early uh, or maybe late in the evening uh, before sundown. Uh, but certainly, you can get out and have some, uh, some fun. <laughs> no luck for Grandpa. Yeah, he had luck. He was probably the one that was putting everybody onto the fish. That's usually the way it works. Bob, thanks for sending that in. And we'll get there in a, in a second, everyone, on how you can actually send these over. Uh, but certainly, lots of fish to be caught, fortunately, uh, here close to home still. Uh, scooped up a nice one. This is from Jamie. Uh, nice Chinook. And it's just been the typical thing. We'll talk a little bit about that this upcoming segment in the report segment of it. Um, very typical chasing salmon right now. Uh, Todd's first sockeye. God. We talked about this a little bit yesterday. I still wish I could go after him. Mm. A long ways to go all the way up to the east side of Washington to catch a sockeye, but it's been ridiculously good up there. But it was good down here for a short time while they let us do it. Fox 12 app is easy. Find it in your app store, download it, and then you can find Outdoor GPS, scroll down, and of course, it'll show you how to upload those photos and videos, and you need that app anyway. There's a reason why Fox 12 and, and KPDX are the number one weather source, news source in our region. Uh, that app just helps you utilize that information much, much easier. All right, we're going to cut to a break. I do have a phone call that's hanging, so I'm going to save this uh, for this upcoming segment. So, John from Salem, be patient. When we come back, we're going to have the field report. We'll go quickly over river levels and fish counts, get that out of the way, take John's call, and then line you up on what you can do this upcoming week. We'll be back in just a minute. 